Hello everyone. The Sons of Muyua murder trial has been postponed to the 22nd of January 2024 due to the fact that one of the defense counsels advocate to Lanim Gomezul wasn't feeling well. The judge president, Dunstan Lambo, has commented about the presiding officer who is presiding over the matter of Senzo Meiwa, Judge Rata Mohotling. There was a judge conference last week and the media was given an opportunity to ask questions. One journalist asked Chief Justice Raymond Zondo about Senzo Meiwa case. The journalist from ENCA asked about the delays of the case and the threats that Chief Justice was talking about in the former President Jacob Zuma's case. The Chief Justice then asked Dunstan Lambo to respond to the question of Senzo Meiwa. Dunstan then responded and said that they allocate judges to hear matters, they run a rolling system in the high courts in terms of criminal matters, and that simply means that a judge remains available for the matter until it's finalized. The judge will give the final judgment and they had an unfortunate event of incapacity and they had to intervene with regards to Judge Chifua Maumela, who was the initial judge in the matter. They then realized that he couldn't proceed with the matter due to health reasons. They then consulted with all legal teams involved and made a decision that whether a new judge that they want to rope in will proceed with the matter where Judge Maumela left or he'll start afresh. They looked and studied all the legal prescripts and decided to appoint a new judge to start afresh. He further said that the matter has had a good traction ever since the retired Judge Mohatling took over and Rata is always available daily. What unfortunately because the delays are not usually what happens in criminal trials. Sometimes the witness is not available. Sometimes the defense will ask some time to consult with the client and look at the new evidence. It's always the judiciary that takes the blame when matters are dragged, but it's not them. The judge is always available. At the same time, the judge can't refuse the request because he doesn't want to interfere with the right to a fair trial with the accused, especially where the defense lawyer wants to study the evidence. But in the next term, the judge will be available throughout, and his hope is that Judge Rata must now finish the case. While well, the current witness in the sense of Mia matter is Brigadier Bongani Gininda, and we really hope our advocate Mgome Zulu, by January the 22nd, he'll be fit and ready to represent his clients which are accused number one, Moses Bia, and accused number two, Bongani Danzi. And there's a trial within a trial that is taking place in the Pretoria High Court because it is believed that these two accused were coerced and forced to make admissions that they knew nothing about. It is also believed that the accused were tortured, assaulted, and also tubed and they were forced to say that they shot and killed Senzo Meiwa on the 26th of October 2014 at Fosloras. And also according to the evidence that has been led before the court, Gininda is the mastermind of all these shenanigans. We can really hope that Judge Rata Mohotling will not take it lightly that the accused number one and two were assaulted and coerced to make warning statements because Gininda was once found guilty by the High Court that he assaulted and forced the accused to make admissions in the CISAC case. The JP also further commented about the case of the former President Jacob Zuma just after Zuma was arrested, there was anarchy and people banned businesses and they also looted and some people died and threats were made publicly and privately. The JP said that one of the judges that was in Gauteng that dealt with the part of constitutional court that involved former president was seriously heristical because he received personal threats in his cell phone. Justice Matujani. He's taking from experience, it took a lot from him to pacify him and then he made a request to him to not move and leave his residence and made sure that if he leaves, he must make sure that he is protected. He indeed received personal threats. What's your take on this one people? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more news.